Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Do you remember who I am? I don't know if you do. So it has been a very long time since I have just sat down in my film room, talked to you guys, and did my makeup. I feel really bad that it's been so long since I've done this, but it feels really good to sit down in this film room with my regular lighting, my regular setup, and to just do my thing. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first, um, if I forget to list off any products, everything will be listed down below in the description box. So first I wanna put on some of these. I got these sent to me in the mail and I really wanted to try them out. Okay, so where to begin? There is a lot to catch you guys up with. <laughs> There's a lot that's been going on in my life. I know the last like six months, all I've really talked about that's been different in my life has been work and tattooing and all of that stuff. So I just wanted to kind of catch you guys up with everything that's been happening and it's a lot let me tell you. It's all mostly good things, which is great, but there are some sad things that have happened in my life that I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys about because I know some of you probably are going through the same thing. Probably a lot of you are going through the same thing, actually. I know a lot of people deal with the exact same stresses that I am dealing with right now. So I don't know what I'm doing with my makeup today. Basically, I am gonna try out this new ColourPop eyeshadow palette. It's called Flutterby. It's just really pretty, has a lot of pretty colors in it. Just wanted to try it out. So we're gonna center the look around that. I'm gonna start off by taking the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. And this one is the color medium peach. I already did my brows, by the way. I used the, the Balm Ferocious Brow Pencil in light brown and I just brushed my brow hairs up with some clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So let's start with the biggest thing that has happened within the last month or so. Um, I'm buying a house. So I am so excited. I This has been a long time coming. It's been something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time, probably about like maybe two years now. Um, I've been seriously, seriously looking in the last six months. Um, before that, I was just kind of like saying, you know, I really want to buy a house soon. I want to do this sometime in the near future. And then in the last six months, I just basically was like, all right, like my lease is going to be up at my apartment in March. And so I kind of just like want to seriously start looking. So I found a real estate agent and I just started looking at houses. And I've been looking at houses for actually probably like two and a half to three years now. Just kind of getting an idea of what type of house I would want to buy. Um, so I've looked at a ton of different houses. I have had this image of this house that I've wanted for a really long time. Like I just have known the type of house that I want. It's nothing special. It's like a basic family style house, but just like different things that I would want. Like I wanted an island in the kitchen and I wanted a bathtub in my bathroom. Um, like a real bathtub, not like a bathtub in a shower. I want like a real bathtub. <laughs> so it's just like little stuff like that that I kind of picked out over the years that I knew I wanted. And so I feel like I, I've been looking for quite some time now, probably like six months, like seriously looking. And then right when I was about to kind of give up, not give up, but I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna like, if it happens, it happens. Who cares? I'm not trying to push it. Um, right when I kind of got that mindset, I found the perfect house that went on the market um, right in the area that I wanted. It was the perfect house, um, had everything that I wanted inside of it. And we went and looked at it that day that I texted her about it. And so I ended up just like wanting to buy it. So I put in an offer. Um, there was another couple that put in an offer right before me, but I ended up beating them out and I got my offer accepted and I got the house. We have not gone through closing dates or anything like that, but it's pretty official. I am scared to tell you guys this though before I've like actually gone through the closing because like what if something goes wrong? What if it doesn't work out? But I know that it's gonna work out. It's just, it's very exciting. I still can't believe that it's happening. It's crazy that I'm able to do this at 24 years old, it doesn't really make sense to me. And I wanted to tell you guys and kind of update you about this because I'm able to do this because of you. Um, yes, I have a separate job now, but all of the money that I've saved up for my house has been from YouTube. So the only reason that I'm able to do this is because of you guys. So I just, I really wanted to say thank you. 
I know that I haven't been super present on YouTube as I used to be. I used to post three videos a week. I used to, you know, this was my full-time job, but just kind of grown up a little bit. I've I got a new job. I'm doing different things with my life. A lot of things have been happening and, you know, things get in the way, but I still love doing this so much. Like, I was so excited to film today and I'm so excited to tell you guys about everything that's just been happening. And so I just really wanted to say thank you to everyone who has supported me throughout the years. This has been the most amazing journey ever. I feel like I have the best followers in the world because even though I only post like every two weeks to once every month, you guys are still really loyal to me and that means so much to me. I can't even tell you. Like I know how frustrating it is when a YouTuber, sorry, I can't talk, when a YouTuber doesn't stay super consistent with their videos. And I didn't think I would ever become that person because I was like really good about making videos back um, like a year ago, but I mean even though I'm not you guys are still sticking with me, which is just crazy like it's crazy to me So that is happening. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited. I just like it still doesn't feel real I don't think it'll feel real until like actually move in and that's another thing uh, My sister will be moving with me. We have been in this apartment for three years now over three years It's been the best apartment. I'm going to miss this place so much it's like it has been the perfect setup for us. It's in the middle of where my family and friends live in the city So it's just like a really great location We're not gonna be living in the same location. So I'm a little bit sad about that But I'm also super excited because the area that we're gonna be living in is Just better for us and makes more sense, but I'm so I'm very I'm so excited like I'm so excited to be living in a home and like not having to climb three flights of stairs every time I want to come home and you know just having something that's mine I guess but we won't be moving in for a few months um, it all kind of depends when the current owners move out I told them that I was super flexible with moving out whenever because I am in an apartment and I can do month to month until I move out and that was kind of another push for them to accept my offer over the other people's offer it does kind of suck because I want to move in right away but I can deal with it so it's fine it also gives me more time to kind of clean up this film room I'm gonna be doing a lot of decluttering I'm gonna either do one big decluttering video or a bunch of little ones like I used to because this room <laughs> is filled with an unnecessary amount of makeup and I've been getting a lot better about sorting out makeup and donating it like right away once I get it but the makeup that I've gotten in the past has just built up so much I have like five giant bags that I need to do giveaways with and it's just a lot so um, I'm planning on doing a either big decluttering video or a decluttering series so get ready for that yeah I'm really gonna miss this apartment like it actually kind of makes me really sad the thought of us moving out um because this has been my life for a long time now three years this is where I've like grown into an adult and grown into my own person and it's just a very very special place for me this is an, an awesome apartment building and place to live and it wasn't terribly terribly expensive especially for the portland area so i'm very very grateful that we got to live here for as long as we did but i'm ready to move on and do something different oh and i'm also planning on doing a moving in series or a big video about moving in i want to do the whole you know empty house tour and then a video about us moving everything in and i'm really excited to kind of create videos about that just do something a little bit different on my channel than just makeup um because i feel like my whole life right now is makeup and tattooing so i'm excited to finally have something else to like talk about and film about um, um, as for work, work has been going great. It's actually super busy right now. Um, that's also another reason that I haven't been able to film. I've just, it's been really busy the last month, which is awesome, but it is very physically and mentally taxing. It's a very hard job to like have the energy to do anything afterwards just cause it's like, I don't know. It's just so much like each appointment takes out so much energy not just for me but every single artist that we have at the studio like my sister and my boss were all just kind of like drained after a day 
So the thought of like filming after that is very overwhelming, but it's been really good. I'm very, very thankful for the amount of clients that I've been getting. And I'm also very thankful for my followers that have come and got their brows done. I've had a handful of people come and get their brows done that have followed me on YouTube for some time now. And that is always so cool to meet them and to get to know them. And I've had people fly out to me. I had a, such a sweet girl fly out to me from Texas and I'm just so grateful that people are willing to travel to come get their brows done by me. Like that's such a weird thought, I don't know. I also wanted to talk about something that's been a little bit new to me. This is more of the sad part of what's been going on with me. Um, this is very new. I haven't really experienced anything like this ever before. In one of my videos a while back, like last summer, I told you guys that my grandpa passed away in July and my grandma had passed away in December before that. So it was a very quick thing that happened in our family and it was really, really sad. And my family was very, very close to those grandparents and they were amazing. It still doesn't really feel like they're gone sometimes just cause I don't know, it's like a weird thought. They're the, they were the first, like, I haven't had many people in my life pass away before. So, having them pass away and being so close to them was a really big shock. And it was just something that was new to me. Like I just wasn't used to mourning and those type of like grief feelings. Um, and I had gone through, I'm still kind of going through it, um, a really bad episode of, I guess you could call it anxiety attacks. Um, and my trigger would be microblading at work. And it's so weird. It's the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. I still don't fully understand it. Um, at first, the first time that it ever happened to me, I was starting to microblade a client and then all of a sudden my heart just sped up and I started feeling like, you know, something was wrong. I thought I was gonna pass out. I thought maybe because I was on my period that week that maybe that was what was going on. And so I had to stop the appointment and kind of walk out and like take a breather. And then I eventually had to have my sister finish the appointment because I just couldn't finish it. And at first I was like, what's wrong with me? Like, is there something like medically wrong with me? I thought like I had a heart condition. I thought maybe like iron was low or my blood sugar was low or something causing me to like want to faint or something or like making my heart rate go up but it would only happen when I was starting to microblade and my heart would race so much that my hands would start to like shake like not even just like shake but they would be like like I couldn't keep my hands steady and it's a job that you have to be really really steady for so you know it happened a few times and I finally was like, okay, like I should go to the doctor cause this is not normal. At first we did like blood tests and they didn't really know what was wrong with me. I kind of felt like a crazy person cause I was like going in there not really knowing what the problem was and not knowing what to tell them what the problem was. A couple blood tests done, a couple different, you know, standard tests at the doctor's done and they didn't find anything, like nothing was wrong with me. I'm, a healthy person which i'm grateful for but i just like was super frustrated because i was like what is wrong with me and it just kept happening and then after about the third or fourth time that it happened where i had to stop the appointment and walk out and i either had to send them home or my sister would have to take over the appointment i just like had a full on like mental breakdown and i just like cried for hours i was contemplating you know am I gonna have to quit this job? Like, I don't know what's going on, but it doesn't feel right and this doesn't feel right. And like, what if this never stops? What if I keep shaking every time I have to microblade someone? Like, what is even happening? And so finally, I just kind of like took a minute to like sit down and think about what it actually was. And I just, I just determined myself that it was me having like an anxiety attack because I didn't know what else it could be. I didn't know, I didn't really know why else it would be happening. So that is just like what I kind of decided it was. And then I went into the doctor and I, I went to a different doctor because the one I was going to before was kind of making me feel like I wasn't, almost like I wasn't telling the truth or something. And I legit, like I legit felt like a crazy person when I was like going into the doctor and telling them what was going on because it sounded like made up. I don't really know. But I went into a different doctor. Um, she was like a younger female and I just kind of like talked to her about what had happened and 
the past, like my grandpa passing away, and I think that might be the reason why this is happening because nothing else has really happened in my life that would make me do this. And she just kind of validated for me that, yes, that is definitely probably the reason why this is happening. Um, there is no other thing that is wrong with me health-wise, so that would make perfect sense as to why I would be having these episodes at work. And I think because it happened the first time at work, I kind of like flipped a switch in myself. From what I've heard from nurses and doctors is when I, that first time that it happened when I was microblading, I kind of like flipped a switch in my brain. That switch told me that every time I started microblading, I needed to start overthinking. My heart needed to start to race. Um, I needed to start feeling faint. Like it was just my brain kind of putting on a switch and I just needed like, time for that to kind of phase out. So I ended up trying a couple different medications because I couldn't stop working. Like, like I couldn't just stop working. I had to continue to work to live. So um, I wanted to try a medication that would make me stop. Maybe make my heart rate stop spiking up. Maybe make my hands stop shaking. Like I just needed something to kind of help me out. So I tried a couple different medications. Um, nothing was really working. Like it happened a couple different times after that and then finally I started a new medication pretty quickly after that it happened and it worked. And I've been taking it ever since. Um, just on the days that I work, maybe I will get off of it soon, I'm not really sure, but I never once thought in my life that I would have to take medication for anxiety. Never thought I would have to do that. I've always considered myself a pretty happy person. I do get sad occasionally like everybody else. Um, so I never thought I would need extra help like that. Um, and at first I was almost ashamed that I like needed medication to help me get through this. I don't know, it's just like a really weird experience. But I learned that it's nothing to be ashamed about. Everybody needs a little bit of help sometimes. Um, just a really weird thing that happened. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. But I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know that a majority of people in the world deal with anxiety and depression and some sort of mental health issue. Um, and it's really nothing to be ashamed about. It's really nothing to be reluctant to get help about because it's made my life a hundred times better since I realized that something was wrong. It just made everything better when I like went and got a little bit of help. Anyways, not to bring down the mood, but I just kind of wanted to update you guys on that because it's been something that I don't, I don't really deal with it anymore, but it was something that like was taking over my life at the time. So if you're going through something like that, just know that you are not alone. Go to the doctor, get some, get some advice, get some help, and it will make it a hundred times better. Trust me. I'm going to put on some lashes really quick. I will be right back. Okay, on to happier subjects. I turned 24 in January, which is very weird. Um, just think about it this way. I started YouTube when I was 19. 19 years old, just a little baby, and now I'm 24 and I'm an old fart. Honestly, I don't really feel different, but just because I've been doing this adulting thing for quite some time now, just the things that have happened in the last month, in this last year, I guess, have been insane and it does feel very different. I feel like a new woman. I'm 24, I'm buying a house and I'm seeing someone. I know, I don't get it either. I don't, I don't get it. No, but I have um, never been this happy before and I can honestly say that. This has made me realize that every single relationship that I've had before has been so unhealthy and so toxic. It has been a very eye-opening experience. And I'm very grateful for it. But yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna say about that. Just know that I'm doing great. Oh, and I also wanted to ask you guys, I get, oh my God, I get so many questions on Instagram. Oh, and by the way, I deleted my Twitter. I don't know if anyone cares because I never tweeted on it or anything, um, but I deleted it just because it was my favorite app for a while. Like I would love to go on Twitter in my free time and just read what people had to say because people are hilarious. Um, but it just kind of turned into a really negative space. I saw a lot of drama, a lot of trash talking, and it just wasn't about it. So I deleted it. I never really went on it that much anyways. And I hate to say it, but um, I'm obsessed with TikTok. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, 
It's like really entertaining. It's kind of the new Twitter, but with like videos and people are just so fucking funny. I can't even like, I don't get it. I don't get how people are so funny. Like some of the content these kids come up with, I say kids, but they're like my age. These people come up with is insane. Like I, if I don't have an account. I just literally go on the app and look at the like for you page, I think it's called, like the trending page. Oh my God, people are so funny. Like if you, I know there's like a huge stigma about it and there are some like weirdos on TikTok, that's for sure. Um, and there are some like uncomfortable videos to watch as well, but there's just, I don't know, people are like brilliant and they come up with the best ideas. Anyways, off the subject, I don't even know where that came from. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, um, a lot of people ask me so many questions about microblading on my Instagram and I don't know if I should make a video, kind of like a Q&A video answering those questions because I don't know if you guys would even be interested in that. I like, I'm trying really hard not to bring my work life into my YouTube life. Um, I wanna keep those separate because I don't wanna annoy anybody who watches my YouTube channel just for makeup. Like. I don't want to annoy anybody by like constantly talking about microblading and tattooing. But let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I get so many questions every single day and I just feel like it would be easier to have a video answering all of those questions for you so I can just direct everyone to that video if they have any questions. Just because it is a very, it's a pretty new thing and not a lot of people know about it or much about it or exactly what it is, so. And I know a lot of people are interested in seeing like a day in the life of my work life, like what I do during the day when I am working. Um, but I think I need to have a client or I need to film the video while like doing one of my friends' brows because I don't think there would be a lot of clients out there who would be okay with me filming them and putting them on my YouTube channel. So I think I'll probably like when I do Lindsay's brows, I'll probably do a video about it um, just to kind of show you guys what exactly happens because I think that'd be really interesting. But just know that I haven't done that, not because I don't want to, but because like it's kind of a weird thing. Bring up to your clients. Also, I did want to like quickly mention that I am offering a new service at work and it's called brow lamination. I did post about it on my Instagram. I don't know if any of you guys still look at my Instagram because it is mostly brows now. Um, I am sorry about that, but that's just what has to happen. That's how I get clients is through social media. Anyways, I am offering a new service. It's called brow lamination and it's just this new thing that's been blowing up. It's basically like a relaxer or perm for your eyebrows and it basically makes the hairs go upwards and more look more fluffier. So if you have hairs that like grow downwards or if you have like sparser brows and you want them to look thicker or if you have great brows and you just want to like make them look even better, you can get this done. Like really anybody can get this done unless you have like no brow hair, then you can't really get it done. But um, it's a really, really cool service and I have been loving it so much. And to kind of finish off the topics of my life, this isn't really like my life in any way. It's just who I've been obsessed with on YouTube lately. And honestly, I don't really watch many makeup tutorials anymore. I used to be obsessed with makeup tutorials when I first started YouTube. Like for the first couple years I watched beauty YouTubers every single day. And then I just kind of got burnt out, I think maybe because I do it, I did it for a living and I do it all the time and I talk about it all the time that I just kind of stopped watching them. But I just started watching another makeup girl recently. I'm sure most of you probably know her. She has a pretty big channel now. Um, I think it's grown a lot in the last year since she started the series. But her name is Bailey Sarian and she does murder mystery and makeup Mondays. And I, have been unhealthily obsessed with her videos. I, I'm always watching them like it's bad. Like when I was setting up my room before starting to film this, I was watching her videos. <laughs> I'm always watching her videos like it's crazy. She basically just sits down and does her makeup and like does a get ready with me. Um, but she is talking about some sort of murder or mystery or she's done a couple paranormal ones like around Halloween time before. And she's so funny. She's an amazing person. I can just tell by watching her videos. She's so sweet. Like she's just a very entertaining person to watch. And I think that I can't imagine the work that goes into those videos. Like she does them pretty much every single week. I know that she's taking a little bit of a break right now because she just had a loss in the family, which is so sad. And I 
am thinking about her and her family but the amount of work that would go into that video like i just know like even just filming a makeup tutorial while talking alone is like a lot of work but she has to do like research and lay out her whole story and i just can't imagine the amount of work that she does every single week her channel has like grown so much lately and that is so well deserved um so if you like true crime or mysteries or paranormal stories and you like makeup you should definitely go check her out i will link her channel below and i also have been really really obsessed with van conversions and people living in vans and i all of a sudden want to live in a van and um i don't know what's going on i didn't ever think i would be that person but i'm obsessed with it i watch them every single night before i go to bed these people just like have their shit figured out and they know what they want in life and they get to travel and do everything at once they get to live on the road if you haven't if you have no idea what i'm talking about i can link like a, an example video down below but there is a huge community of people living in vans or trailers or buses and i just discovered it like six months ago and i am like deep into this community like I want to be one of them. I do. I want to live in a van. I want to convert a van. But I'd have to say my favorite channel that I watch all the time is Elsa Ray. Her and her boyfriend, they live in a 13 foot scamp trailer and they just live like a very simple life. Their videos are really fun to watch. They're very peaceful. Um, Elsa was actually in the Nick Space Awards the year before I was and I got to meet her really briefly. I don't know. I don't even know if she remembers that. She is an amazingly artistic person. She doesn't really do makeup anymore um, at all, I don't think, but she's just like such a talented person and she does a bunch of crafts. She makes stickers and bracelets and earrings and she's just, they, her and her boyfriend seem like really great people and they're really fun to watch. But yeah, I'll link their channel down below as well if you like kind of peaceful videos. I always watch her videos at night before I'm going to bed. They just kind of like put me in a good headspace, I guess. And last but not least, the channel that i have been watching like crazy especially the last week i kind of found him i mean i've always known about him but i've never really watched his videos before but i've been watching anthony padilla and he does like i think it's just a series i know he does other videos but right now he's doing a series of like interviewing different types of people in different communities um for example i just watched the ex mormon video like he interviews people who used to be Mormons and kind of like, they talk about their experience. And he talks to so many different kinds of people and it's very, very interesting. He's a very open-minded person and he's very respectful to everyone, which is awesome. He did a video about sugar babies. He did a video about ex-cult members, just any type of person under the sun he has done interviews with. And it's really, really, really interesting and really eye-opening as well, because it just makes you realize that there are so many different kinds of people out there. Okay, and then finishing off this look with a little bit of lip step. Okay, everyone, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble. I'm sure most of you don't even care, but I just want to say again that I am so thankful for all of you. I'm very grateful that you guys take time to watch my videos and to support me and to write me comments and to send me DMs and all that good stuff. It really, really means so much. You guys have helped me grow into the person that I am today. You guys have helped me grow up and become an adult and I'm 24, I'm buying a house. I'm really, really happy right now. Things are just going really well and I owe a lot of that to you guys. And so I just really want you to know that I am super grateful. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This video is probably gonna be super long. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.